Then I'm back upon the road in search of places grander For that's the way I live my life for travelling overlander Hobart, Tasmania's capital, is a place I like so much, I've actually lived here. Situated on the Derwent River and backing onto Mount Wellington, Hobart is one of the world's most picturesque cities. So as a past local, I'd like to tell you my top three things to do if you're to visit Hobart. First, if you're in Hobart on a Friday night, check out the free bands at the Salamanca Arts Centre Courtyard. The fun starts around 6pm, and ends at the family friendly time of 7.30. Next, get up nice and early on Saturday morning and peruse the ever popular Salamanca market. There's always plenty of action with buskers, musicians and plenty of fine handcrafted gifts. Finally, no trip to Hobart is complete without a stroll around the historic docks area. And after you've walked up an appetite, there are plenty of places to get a feed of fresh Tassie seafood. After my previous story about Tasmania's last full-blooded Aborigine, I thought it would be interesting to interview an African refugee about their experience in Hobart. So I interviewed Ajak Kwa, a well-known Sudanese musician. The reason I, uh, I come to Australia, that is, uh, civil war in Sudan has been going on for a long time. And particularly me, I lost a lot of uh, relatives. I have about, I lost about 100 relatives, including my, my two brothers and, and my father. And, and that was really hard. And I heard about Australia a long time ago. We were studying in a school that Australia is really a very racist country. And they killed black people a long time ago. So when I was about to come to Australia, I was really scared and being by myself. And I just think to myself that was wrong because there are so, I meet a lot of good people in Tasmania and I just, think that, you know, it's not that bad. Because I see a lot of terrible things happen in the world, and my singing is about peace, love, you know, and I just think to myself, you know, it sounds silly for people, but I think we all need love to be able to live, because if you love something, you will not kill yourself. People desperate when they nobody love them, you know. So I'm thinking about love and peace, which is all that all we need. People are very friendly here in Hobart. It's not like a big city. You're very close to everything in Hobart. You can walk around like me. I don't have a car because I just walk. Another thing I like about Hobart is the fact that it's not very far. The, the beauty of the nature is close to you, and you you don't have to go very far. You can go just half an hour and go to the bush and come back fresh, you know, and your blues will be fly away. In Tasmania, most of the people are good, and, and if you come across someone, you know, make a comment because you look different, it doesn't affect in me because I know that it's a minority. When someone says something and I know that he's racist or she, I just get back straight away. I don't have to get angry at them, but I just say a word equal to what they say, logical, and, and I be feel good. I don't have to go home, feel bad, or I don't have to say bad to get angry at people. It doesn't solve any problem. For example, there was a man who stopped me on the street. He said, where do you come from? And I said, I come from South Hobart. And he said, how come you're that black? And I said, how come you're that white? And he, and he said, I don't know. And I said, I don't know. I find myself black. You find yourself white. We don't know.